Assalamualaikum. I hope you will be fine. Today we will have our lecture number 12. In lecture number 12, we will study about analysis of precipitation data. The analysis of precipitation data is done by two methods. Number one is estimation of the missing precipitation data, and number two is the consistency of precipitation data or double mass index method. So these two methods are used for the analysis of precipitation data. In the first method, estimation of missing da precipitation data, uh, some precipitation uh, stations have short breaks in the records because of absence of the observer or because of instrumental failure. So it is often necessary to estimate this missing records. According to the US Weather Bureau uh, procedure, the missing precipitation of a station is estimated from the observation of precipitation at some other stations so uh, as close to and evenly spaced around the sp uh, station with the missing records as possible. Those stations whose data uh, is missing is called interpolation stations and gauging stations whose data are used to calculate the st missing da station data are called uh, index stations. There are uh, two methods in order to estimate the missing data. The first method is called the arithmetic mean method and the second one is called the normal ratio method. So these two methods are used in order to calculate the uh, missing uh, data of, or estimation or used to estimate the missing uh, data for a given station. In first uh, method, arithmetic mean method, uh, in order to calculate the missing precipitation Px, an equation is given that is equal to Px is equal to 1 over n, summation uh, limits, uh, lower limit is i equal to 1 and upper limit is i equal to n, Pi. Here n is the number of uh, nearby stations, Pi is the precipitation at the ith station and Px is the missing precipitation. Uh, in order, uh, if you have three stations, uh, for example 1, 2 and 3, so in that case, you, if you calculate the uh, missing precipitation data, the equation will become Px is equal to P1 plus P2 plus P3 divided by 3. Naming as uh, A, B and C instead of 1, 2 and 3, then the above equation becomes Px is equal to Pa plus Pb plus Pc divided by 3. Here Pa, Pb, Pc are defined above. In the normal ratio method, uh, uh, the missing precipitation data is calculated by this equation that is Px is equal to 1 over n summation uh, lower limit i equal to 1 and upper limit i equal to n. Here n uh, into nx divided by n i divided by uh, into pi. That is uh, Px is the missing precipitation data for any storm at the population station x. The i is the precipitation for the same period for some uh, for the same storm at the ith station of the of a group of index station. N x is the normal annual precipitation value uh, for the x station, and N i is the normal annual precipitation value for the ith station. So these uh, this equation is used in order to calculate the uh, missing data uh, missing precipitation data according to normal ratio method. For example, for the samples defined above uh, for three index stations in a catchment area, Px is equal to 1 over 3 Nx divided by N1 P1 plus Nx divided by N2 P2 plus Nx divided by N3 P3. Here Nx is the uh, normal annual precipitation for the X station uh, divided by N1 is the uh, normal annual precipitation for the first station and P1 is the uh, storm precipitation. Plus Nx is the normal annual precipitation again for the X station, N2 is the normal annual precipitation for the second station, and P2 is the uh, storm precipitation. And again, uh, for third stage uh, value, Nx is the normal annual precipitation for the X station divided by N3 is the normal annual precipitation for uh, third station, and P3 is the storm precipitation. So, calculate these values and divide this these values by three, so we will get the uh, uh, missing precipitation data for the uh, x station that is px uh, according to normal ratio method. If the normal annual of the index station lies within plus minus 10% of the normal annual of the interpolation station, 
then we apply arithmetic mean method to, uh, to determine the missing precipitation record otherwise the normal ratio method is used for this purpose consider that record is missing from a station x now let first of all uh, calculate n n is equal to normal annual precipitation mean uh, of 30 year for the annual precipitation n will be given in order to calculate the, the, uh, the missing uh, precipitation uh, missing precipitation data missing storm precipitation data for station x p will be the uh, storm precipitation let be uh, px be the missing precipitation for the station x and nx the normal annual precipitation of this station in a and b and c are normal annual precipitation of the nearby three station a b and c respectively while pa b b and pc are the storm precipitation of that period for these stations now we have to compare nx with an a and b and nc separately if the difference of an a nx minus an a nx minus an b nx minus nc is within 10 percent of the nx then we use simple arithmetic mean method otherwise we will use the normal ratio method in order to uh, understand this we will solve an example on uh, these equations example is find out the missing storm precipitation of station c uh, given in the following table in this table uh, five stations are given a b c d e uh, the storm precipitation data of station c is missing which uh, will be uh, which we will calculate storm precipitation data of a b d e are given and normal annual precipitation of uh, a b c d e stations are given so in order to calculate the uh, nor, uh, the storm precipitation of station c the normal annual precipitation at station a b d and e are given and missing precipitation data at c is to be calculated whose normal annual precipitation is known we will determine first whether arithmetic mean or normal ratio method is to be applied so for this purpose uh, first of all we will calculate 10 percent of nc so in order to calculate 10 percent of nc multiply uh, nc value by uh, 10 percent so nc is equal to 93.5 you can take this value from the table that is 93.5 uh, multiply by 10 divided by 100 so you will get 10 percent of nc is equal to 9.3 now uh, multiply uh, now add this and uh, 10 percent of nc with nc value and also subtract this so you will get the range uh, for uh, and 10 percent of nc that is uh, while uh, adding the 10 percent of nc with nc we get 93.5 plus 9.35 equal to 102.85 and by subtracting uh, 10 percent of nc from nc you will get uh, 84.15 so an a and b and d or an e values are to be checked for the range of 102.85 to 84.15 if any value of an a and b and d or an e lies beyond this range then normal ratio method would be used it is clear from data in the table above that n b and d and n e values are out of the range so the normal ratio method is applicable here so according to uh, normal ratio method px is equal to 1 over n summation uh, i equal to 1 i equal to n nx divided by n i pi here n is equal to 4 as uh, the number of index stations are 4 nx is equal to 93.5 already given pi is given uh, for first station is 9.7 you can take it from the table that is 9.7 divide this by uh, ni that is 100.3 which is the normal annual precipitation for the a station that is 100.3 plus uh, again a uh, normal illustration of station c uh, multiply by 8.3 which is the uh, uh, storm precipitation of second station divided by annual precipitation normal illustration of the second station plus nc multiply by a uh, storm precipitation of the third station divided by normal illustration uh, sorry four station divided by normal annual station of the four station plus uh, nc uh, nx that is uh, sorry uh, nc normal annual station of station c multiply by eight that is a uh, no, uh, storm precipitation of uh, uh, fifth station divided by normal uh, annual station of fifth station that is 115.5 so simplify this equation 
and divide it by 4 so you will get the norm, uh, storm precipitation of missing station C that is PC is equal to 7.8 cm. So in this way you can estimate the missing precipitation data according to normal ratio method. Second example, uh, in this statement is precipitation station X was in operative for part of a month during which a storm occurred. The storm totals are uh, at three surrounding stations A, B and C were respectively 10.7, 8.9 and 12.2 cm. The normal annual precipitation amounts at these stations X, A, B and C are respectively 97.8, 112, 93.5 and 119.9 cm. We will have to calculate is, uh, or estimate the storm precipitation for station X. So, the storm precipitation for station A, B, C are given which is 10.7, 8.9, 2 cm. And normal annual station data for uh, these X, A, B and C station are given 97.8112, 93.5 and 119.9 cm respectively. We will have to calculate the storm precipitation for station X. First of all, uh, uh, write the given data that is PA equal to 10.7, PB equal to 8.90, PC equal to 12.2 cm and PX is to be calculated. Normal administration data are NA equal to 112 cm, NB equal to 93.5 cm, NC equal to 119.9 cm and X is equal to 97.8 cm. First of all calculate 10% of NX, so 10% of NX is equal to 9.78 meter. Now we will check either uh, we have to use normal ratio method or uh, arithmetic mean method. So for this purpose NX minus NA is equal to minus 14.2 uh, cm which is more than uh, 10 uh, plus 10 percent of NX. So no need of calculating NX minus NB and NX minus NC and we will use the normal uh, arithmetic mean method. So in order to use the normal arithmetic mean method uh, Px is equal to 1 over 3 uh, 3, uh, 3 is the number of uh, index stations that is 3 PA, PB and BC so we have 3 stations so uh, N equal to 3 then NX is 97.8 multiplied by PB, PA that is 10.7 and divided by NA plus and x 97.8 multiplied by pb divided by nb plus uh, 97.8 that is nx multiplied by pc divided by nc simplify this equation and divide this by 3 so you will get this missing storm precipitation for x station that is px equal to 9.5 cm so in this way we, uh, we can calculate the missing precipitation data by using the arithmetic mean method also, this is the end of our today's lecture.